Hello guys, do you want to be able to macro in the background while using your PC or just macro on multiple accounts at once? Well, today's your lucky day. I'll be showing you how to do just that. But before we start, depending on the game, you're gonna macro. On, you might get banned if it's not allowed, so do it at your own risk. Today, I'll be showing you how to set it up in Fish. I recommend macroing in a private for just in case to prevent ban. This is also quite hard to set up, so if you're up for it, make sure to watch until the end to know everything you need to. So now, let's get started. First thing you'll have to do is look up our DP wrapper on your browser. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Click on releases on the right. And now install the zip file. And open it. Now you'll have to extract it anywhere you want to. Close the other tab. Now open RDP config. You're gonna get a pop-up. Just click yes to accept it. Now, this is how it should look for you, but we have to get it all green, so pay attention to what's next. Click on install.bat to install the RDP wrapper. There's gonna be another pop-up as before, but then it will start installing just like this. Once it's done, open the config again. And now everything from before should be green, but something else just appeared and we have to make it green as well. So now, pay extra attention for what's next. I'll leave another link in the description to this page. All you have to do is right click and save it as a .ini file type. Just like this. Now look up services in the Windows Start menu. And here, find remote desktop services. Here it is. Right click on it and click stop. Now we'll use the INI file we just installed. Travel to disk, C, program files and RDP wrapper. Now delete the second file. And drop in the one we installed earlier. We can close out of this now and let's check on the RDP config now. The thing turned green but now the other two are red but it's so easy. Fix, we just have to turn on the remote desktop services again. Everything is fine now, so we can move on to the next thing on our list. Now, install this RDP app to be able to actually open a RDP. We're gonna use it a bit later, but now let's do something else. Look for other users in the Windows Start menu. Now click on Add Account. And follow me closely now. Click on. I don't have this user's sign in information. Then add user without Microsoft account. Here, just fill in some data for your user. And while I'm doing this, I'll explain why you need another user. Our RDP is basically a second screen, and in order to have two different screens, you'll need two users. And because we'll have a second screen, we'll be able to use it to macro. This is basically it. You'll understand better once you watch until the end. Now comes the second part of this users thing. I suggest you start watching on your phone if you're on PC because we'll move over to the other user for a bit. So press Windows plus L on your keyboard to switch users. Now that we're in the other user, we'll have to install some stuff. But before we start, I want to mention that this part is just for fish. Macros, I'll showing how to set it up. So if you're trying to set up a macro for another game, just install the one you want. So now, we'll need to install the Auto Hotkey APP. This APP is a must in most macros. Download the v1.1 version for the macro to work.
and open it. You'll get another pop-up. When it's open, it should look like this. Just click on the first option and wait a bit. Now that we got the order hotkey, we just need the macro itself. I'll leave a link in the description to a Discord server where you can get the macro I'm using. Just go over to the Macros tab and install the latest one. I suggest putting it on the desktop. And now we're done here. We can go back to our previous desktop by pressing Windows plus L again. Now that we're back here, go back to other user settings tab and click on change account type. Then set it to administrator account. Now open the RDP application from before. Set the screen size to fit screen. Then click Manage Profiles and add your user from before. Also change the computer to 1 to 7.0.0.3. And now we can click Connect. Here is our second screen. We're almost done. We just need to set up the macro now. So go over to Roblox and sing in your account. Now go over to Fish. Click Play, then install Roblox. We can close out of this. For the macro I'm using, I'll need a darker hair. So go over to the marketplace and get a dark hair. Now join Fish and let's set up the macro. When you've joined the game, go to your desktop and start the macro. This is how it should look like. Macroing here is a little bit different than on the normal desktop. Once you started the macro, click Tab plus Windows, or Tab plus Alt. This will make you switch over to another tab, since if you keep it open, you might break it with your mouse cursor, but you can watch it by hover over the RDP with your mouse. As you can see it's working perfectly fine. I suggest you macro in the Forsaken Shores pond since it's the best place for that. So now I can use my PC while macroing in the background. Keep in mind you can open more RDPS at once too. Also, one very important thing to keep in mind that I was doing wrong for a very long time which led to my macro never working was never click the minimize button for the RDP. It will break the macro and it won't work. If you want to close this tab, just click off or press tab plus windows. So that's about everything you need to know, you should be able to macro in the background anytime now. If you found this useful, make sure to like and subscribe so more people can see this. See you next time.